Uh, we found a courier vanguard with no livery on it. That's the original one there? Yeah. Okay. It's fine. I, I can look for them another time. I might do about like a short spoiler video. You think it's a Xenon ship in there somewhere? Or like an F or something? Sorry, we'll do that another time. We're here to do timelines today. Around in circles. So you think Split has purpose here? There can be no greater purpose. We are correcting mistakes across the galaxy. Guardians of destiny, you say? Indeed, Split friend. But Split longs to return home. Split trapped here. The creators have their reasons, Mom. If we perform the task to the best of our ability, perhaps they will reward us. Perhaps they will send you home someday. You give Split much to think on, friend Tamantol. You have much wisdom. Split longs for home. Okay, she has nothing to say there at the moment. That's fine. Your list is from 2018. Might not cover the DLC then. <laughs> This facility not worthy of split. We are slaves here. Dude, where are you hiding all these noodles? Note, parented love at noodles. What would MD say? Missions, missions, missions. I, I actually do think she's a bot. Anyway, let's uh, go do missions. By the creators. Greetings, Harper Donald. He grabs them from the time travels. So I wonder, are they introducing the multiver multiverse? He's grabbing them from like uh, Fallout 4 stuff. Oh no. Are you all going to start humming the same thing? The damn cult. I leave mines and thought he lit noodles. It's a fair point. <laughs> right. Here called the demons and betrayals are just around the corner. Yep, yeah, here. That doesn't look comfortable. Have you ever stretched your back like that? It's so relieving. If you have a bad back, it's so relieving. And someone who's power hungry, that person's already here. Yeah, I'm just gonna stretch right now. Oh, I A recruitment mission during local chrono concept sentient of species human Terran descent identified as Kari Chen is detained within a medsec facility orbiting the fifth body due to minor jurisdiction infraction an unforeseen sequence of exogenous events has escalated the specimen's probability of termination preservation of this sentient specimen is imperative as dictated by currently mutable coherence trajectories. Immediate action is mandated. Course of measures are to be issued to prevent further timeline vector decoherence. The embodied sentient will be materialized aboard the MedTech facility. It is tasked with strategically persuading the target specimen to preemptively vacate the detention area. 
Physical force must be a vital failure to comply with, uh, will result in a highly likelihood of unfavorable timing. Okay. Twenty twenty four or forty two was when the gate network was discovered. Yeah, yeah, you were saying that, yeah. That's the current year in this setting. So we're gonna be under the clock here, right? Right. Recruit Harbor. Your mission is to recruit one Kari Chen. Twenty four years old, female, human. She's in prison on board a Sol space station above Jupiter. Apparently, she sabotaged a carbon-emitting power generator on Earth, some place called Venezuela. I can't hold the impedance bubble open for long, so don't mess around. We're a stormtrooper. Just get in. Oh. Tell her the deal. Get her agreement, and then get out. Holy frag, what happened to this guy? Planet. He'll be fine. We call this an impedance bubble, but we can't hold it for long. Who are you? Explain quickly. I'm a friend. I have a non jail proposition for you. So I have stig. friends with uh. magic bubbles. Good to know. Giggity. Impedance bubble status green. Who said that? Uh, we'll explain that carefully. That's a highly advanced artificial intelligence. We call it him, the mission director. Yes, yes, yes. Introductions all made. Now, Harbor, will you kindly tell her the deal? So what's this deal, then? Space and time explorers. If you come with me, we will explore the galaxy in time itself. No friggin' way! Impedance bubble unstable. Look, there's more. This is a one-way ticket. Once we leave this place, you can never come back to this life. But I have family. Can I even say goodbye? I really wish that were possible. We'll be there to help you through this. You know you're just a stranger with a magic bubble. You're not my best friend. You're about to die. Impedance bubble status red. Honestly, you're kind of shady. I think I'll take my chances with the enemy I know. Look, I'm sorry. I've kind of messed this up. This really is your decision. Too right it is. Look, you need to work on your social skills, but I hope there's room for two in your bubble. I'm in. Mission complete. Transition initiated. I'm a terrible recruiter? Yeah. I think you... Can you even fail that? Yeah, screw you, Darth. <laughs> oh, I need to reset the goal on that, don't I? Um, bear with me one second. I need to go here. There. Um, no, I don't need to set a call. Screw it. Um, if anyone's wondering, we are doing a fundraiser for um, the Samaritans. Be running it in the streams for the next well while anyway i don't know how long but uh we'll keep it running every time the splitter there i want to talk to them now oh that's right we just recruited someone how is she how are you feeling Terra? that was a trip where am i prepare yourself for a shock Terra. you are in the year 2042 She's from the year 2042, Temek Tell. Okay, this is weird. A talking floating ball and a three-eyed alien? 
What did you do to me? Who changed Am her I clothes? Dreaming? You're not dreaming, Kaori. The ball Who changed is my clothes? Director. And the alien? Alien is not a term that is considered to be polite, young Terran. On my world, it is you who would be considered to be an alien. Frag! Real aliens? Are there more? Maybe don't use the A word. Oh, yes. Creature from another world, I am Kaori Chen of Earth. On behalf of the people of my planet, I welcome you. This is getting tiresome. Can we cut to the explanation? Terran Chen, it is my pleasure to make your acquaintance. We are the Chosen Ones. We use the device over here to travel through time and across the galaxy, undertaking missions of the utmost importance. It's still not time travel, Temintel. So you say, inorganic. It is our sacred duty to complete these missions. You have the honor of being our newest comrade. Um, that's kind of the gist of what we do. Missions? Cool, let's go! This one's keen. This place is amazing! <laughs> What would MD say? Missions, missions, missions! This facility not worthy of split. We are slaves here. Okay. We shall continue. Station circuit. Kai's Revenge. Right, let's, uh... You don't trust this facility, really? <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. A warm welcome to the heart of Freedom Creek for another thrilling race in the Nebula Open Cup. Today we're brought to you by Aurora Casino. Space spins and cosmic winds. Race yourself for another riveting race that promises to push our pilots to the limits. Ooh, the that gold livery or the yellow livery. And turns, a true challenge that separates the racers from the Bofu haulers. And look out, because today we've got some extra excitement. The legendary Kayla Daniels is dusting off the cobwebs and emerging from retirement to test the uh -oh. metal of the new dark racing ship. We haven't seen anything like this for a long time, and the thrill is palpable as we witness the return of a true racing icon. Get ready for a spectacle, folks. We're in the yellow ship. Nice. Maneuverable. I like it. Responsive. I like it. Also, that dark needs to be modified with a, a wraith skin. Oh crap. Ah, uh, the autopilot's freaking out. The anti um, bounce crap. I'm sure he must be happy with that. Okay, yeah, that, that, that lap is.
Wait, is the boot gauge just a one-time thing now? I might just back. Really slow to come back now, okay. It's a tight turn there. These racers are threading the needle, and it's a sight to behold. Precision at its finest. I never thought I'd see the day. It was a tough race, but Kayla Daniels' record is smashed. Gotcha. And now, I don't know if I want that dart now. It seems kind of crap. <laughs> Put out the boost out over the race. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you, do you want that big boost for the straights? The dart is very fast. I imagine it is. Yeah. I could imagine the AI had issues going through the the factory. Um, the admonisher. Members of the species catalog is paranoid. Uh, who fails to fulfill the functions mandated by their breed face immediate elimination and replacement. The task executed by a specialized warrior breed functionally identified as admonishers. Given the stark divergence of ethical practices, an in-depth examination of this behavior pattern is essential to ascertain their continued uh, interoperability with other species and adherence to observe predictive ground truths. Uh, da, 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 we're going to be an admonisher tasked with discreetly eliminating unproductive individuals. Showing a target more quickly and more efficiently will result in increased score. Being engaged by police will... Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah, uh, yeah. Imagine. Hey Teddy, sorry I missed that earlier. Uh, love the music, yeah. Admonisher, we have become aware that a fellow subject of the holy three dimensionality is no longer performing their assigned function optimally. I love the Boomin. As decreed by the priest Duke, it is your honor to take him out, so that he may be replaced with someone more genetically well suited to the task. However, other subjects might not agree with such strict measures, and so your assigned duty calls for subtlety. Do not bring undue attention to your work. Watch your target. Plan your approach. Strike when the opportunity arises. Oh, wow. I can see why. Missile is that? EMP missile. Oh, okay. Excuse me, what? Um, wouldn't that be subtle though? Because you know, all parent ships are that color. Cutlass ship when I was in the game. Oh, I might have missed that. Fighter. Yeah, we can look at it real quick here, don't worry. Uh, 
Uh, he's gonna get to that station. Stopping the asteroids. I always thought it'd be cool if there was a way to uh, lock yourself into the orbit of one of these. But of course, you know, stealth and everything isn't really a part of X4. We're going to hit him at that range. Interesting. malfunction. Again? I'll check it out. Diagnostics are clear. I'll do a deep system scan back at the facility. For now, just focus on the mission. Interesting. Um, yeah, we'll check out that ship in a minute. I'll be able to go into creative mode and uh, do the thing. They do look cool in red. Two star. Yeah. Oh, I got engaged by the authorities because they were so close to the station. Okay, so I took a big hit there, yeah, I, like they said. That's interesting. Ominous gates. Is that part of the... Uh... that part of the colorblind mode? Can we change the color of the gates? Hardly. It's only UI really, isn't it? Human. What new human? Hello there. Grover McCotton. Anybody? <laughs> You're Harper, right? I'm so glad you brought me here. I've done five missions already. Big galaxy. It's a big galaxy and plenty of missions to do. Lots to explore. 
And aliens, uh, I mean, other worlders everywhere. Have you met the split? We have a split on board, too. An interesting species. I met the split lady. She's kind of grumpy, but cool. It seems okay. Say it, Pult. She's okay. Anyway, thanks for bringing me here, Harper. Definitely beats 25 years. Er, Jazorus? In jail. Gotta go. More missions to do. Did we just meet our nemesis? Um, right, let's do, I guess, the mining. That's the same thing, isn't it? Prospector Hammond. The Xenon are making this phase of the project especially difficult. The Lord Prospector is only allowing seasoned miners like you to leave the hangar. Don't worry, the front line still holds. This is only a precaution. Gather as much ore and silicon as you can, and remember to sell to the refinery stations to make space for another haul. Or ninety one percent full. Right. I've got a war. War refinery. I'm guessing Xenon is going to start coming in now. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, right. Big ship, big ship. Docking granted. Oh, no, I didn't stop. I thought it was going to stop me right there, but anyway. For not making me turn around. Successfully docked. It is. God, we have to make three runs for one star. Asteroid. Oh, my 
mining that one. Never mind. Turrets. Oh yeah, I suppose. Docking granted. Yeah, we can get one more run in anyway. At least get one star. You don't have to um, complete these missions, you only have to try them once, by the way, to advance. I don't know if I've said that before. It's an honor to have you aboard. Hi, nice to have a good one, dude. You need to meet target amount of stars to start last section mission. And this one, do you? I'll have to have a look at that. We got five stars in the race. So maybe it was the first one that you just needed to... Um, Attempt them all then, right? To kind of get you in on it. Um, I'm not seeing any thing in my bobbers. Uh oh. Oh, there was one. There's one. This has wasted a lot of time. 3,400 for two stars. Ah, okay. So they made a difficulty spike. Gotcha. break. I wonder if you can just drop the cargo and magnet it against cheat the system. I was wondering that earlier as well. You probably could just drop it and not magnet it again. Move on to another... That was controlled. Drill, mineral, vanguard. Let's find out. We've already passed the mission, so. Successfully docked. 
it's an honor to have you aboard. Give time for the drones to launch and then we can go ahead and check. I think that brought us back down to 2420, didn't it? Okay, you'd have to go back down, yeah. So I was just thinking. All good, there's only 20 seconds left. Some of the scores seem really high. Oh, really? I haven't been looking at the later leaderboards. I don't have the online features on. Probably. Attempt each notice at least once. That's it. So, do you know what they're doing? Well, what they might be doing is mining a bunch of stuff. Turning on the uh, cargo beam and not bringing it into the ship so that it all follows them up to the station. Dock with the station, or load up then, dock with the station, undock, get the next bunch, undock, get the next bunch, undock. Oh, you're on, so you're further on the line, so yeah, we're still in like graph three. Right, border conflict. Tensions over the ownership of a spatial volume in province designated true site between the parent and the humans uh, threatened to escalate into armed conflict this speed not only pits species against species but also divides individuals within each group challenging their beliefs and loyalties but compatible in principle both species parented and human exhibit irrational behavior patterns this event sequence allows for the refinement of predictive coherence and multi-species ethnical decision making That's the way I would see it, is um, go mine a bunch of stuff, like, real quick. Then you just have to t spend a few minutes flying up to the station. This is Argon Station Security calling all allies in the vicinity of True Sight. There is a Paranid fleet on an attack vector heading for this station. Defenses are not online. Repeat, station is undefended. Request immediate assistance. Ooh. This is Paranid Space. Your station is violating its sanctity. Argon Station, help is on the way. Hold out until we arrive. Any freelance commanders in the region? Help us fend off the Paranid. You'll be doing the right thing. Oh, 
Hi. What? Can I help? Sir? Oh. We're in a, a Tokyo? What? Oh, we're in an Osaka? Interesting. What is going on there? What the hell is that? What is that weapon? Loving the music. You bugger you. He's speeding up when he's being hit. Are you boosting?
They didn't finish it off. Thought I was in travel mode. I was wondering, I was like, what? Okay. I could tell the people of Earth what they're missing. Have you seen the Boron yet? Slimy. I had no idea the galaxy was so full of life, industry, and activity. And the ships they're putting me in are fantastic and non polluting, too. To be honest, sitting here in a cockpit feels like being in a video game, but so real. Better than any video game I ever played on Earth. Hello. You must have met Boron out in the field then, because there are none on the station yet, right? Hello. You think it for a while pretty hard there? <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to say it, but yeah. I see you're not in the mission interface, recruit. How are you? How's your day going, MD? I'm a fragging robot, recruit. I'm well-charged and well-oiled. What more do you want to know? There was a slightly emotional response there, fragging. Excuse me? Fragging? It's a word I picked up from Chen. It's satisfying, so I'm using it. Can we question the satisfying part there? That's an emotion, right? MD, why are we here? 
What are we doing? Well, we're not here to chit-chat. You're here to escape flaming death, right? Missions, missions, missions. Ah, oh, Badano, you're doing good. Now do more. That move. Hmm. Sir. Grover. Continue the work of the creators, Guardian Hopper Donald. Split is in moment of prayer and reflection. Split must do missions. Perhaps mission director will send Split home. She's given up. By the creators. Greetings, Harper Donald. Alrighty. Oh. We're at this already, right? I didn't even cop that in the background. This is the ship from X Beyond the Frontier, right? To kill at the end of the game. Following the catastrophic malfunction of its vessel's jump drive during local chrono concept, um yeah. Resulting in the unintended stranding, a sent a sentient of species human. Uh, Terran descent, identified as Captain K Kyle William Brennan, compelled to assist local co sentients in their conflict with the autogenic pre sentients designated Xenon. While this event sequence is not directly endangered by immutable timeline vector decoherence, its pivotal nature significantly modulates the assembly latent. Enhanced exploration is mandated to deepen understanding of space-time dynamics. Gate network expansion expected to be accessible beyond Sector Argon Prime. Gate network expansion predicts to be accessible beyond Sector Tharkis Cascade. Well, I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> That's the one over by the shipyard, and then the one over by the gate into the split space. Interesting. Incre uh, <clears throat> Embodied sentient Captain Kyle William Brennan is tasked with the critical mission of intercepting and neutralizing the pre-sentient superweapon before it reaches densely populated areas. Equipped with the latest technological advancements, the sentient's vessel must achieve mission success to prevent widespread cat catastrophic outcomes across all sectors of province. That place inhabited by species, that one. This is a cool mission. I'm pretty sure this is the end of Beyond the Frontier, if I'm not mistaken. And then we'll look at that uh, other sh the Cutlass Lair. Because we're going to go jump into those two systems, obviously. Kyle Brennan, this is Bandana speaking. Man. You did a great job taking out that scene and infrastructure. But unfortunately, it won't slow them down much. Your most important task still lies ahead. The machines have finished the construction of their most advanced piece of tech yet. That is bad news. The M0 is a weapon of mass destruction that can wreak havoc on a planetary scale. But still... Your experimental shuttle makes you the most ideal candidate to face this threat head on. Now first we need you to investigate the situation for us. But be careful. Expect to be met with some serious resistance. These systems are absolutely infested with the machines. The fate of all organic life rests in your capable hands. Godspeed, pilot. One thing there. You have Bandana in it, Kyle Brennan in it, but the modern Argon ships. Like that would have been perfect time to put in the X2 ships. Just saying. Yes, this is the experimental shuttle. And 
wondering why that. Why are they um, high energy plasma throwers? Yes. I must admit, when you first surfaced in our space, I was skeptical about your intentions. Young bandana. Stranded in this weird ship prototype that no one's ever heard of before, telling tall tales about Earth and riling up the goner. I even asked some of our Argon Secret Service officers to run a complete investigation into you. But to my surprise, absolutely nothing came up. So, we had no choice but to take you by your word. <laughs> and it's a good thing we did. Your actions have proven your character, and only thanks to your warnings did we manage to face the threat of the Xenon head-on. I'm still in disbelief that you managed to rally all of our allies can't have been easy to get everyone on the same page. Even the Split have agreed to a temporary ceasefire with the Queendom of Boron. Our combined forces are gathering close by. Once you have cleared the way, we shall move in as one fleet. A young bandana. These Xenon ships are guarding the entry. You need to take them out. Wait, let's hear that again. Okay. Is this a kind of a run in with your head cut off kind of thing? I can't wait to get a Mamba in X3 and have like... Not gonna turn around on me, buddy. Hey. What? what is going on with the camera? Hey. Camera does that every now and then, it goes into the mode hey. as if you're rotating it. that station there, I guess. Let's continue onward. Nemesis, Vanguard. Yeah, I don't know. Having the X4 ships in this mission, like, okay, but... Entering system. Unknown Xenon sector. Did that pretty quick. B. Xenon escorts. They are trying to protect the M0. And there it is. The mother of all Xenon weapons. The turrets affixed to the rotating arms are absolutely dead. Stay out of their line of fire. Oh, you were facing the other way. 
Oh, instant travel drive, nice. I need that engine noise on all my ships. forces are approaching our position. Thank you. 
There's enough flying around. Let's uh, do the thing. Oh, I thought you were the enemy. <laughs> Janky cam, stop it. Okay. Now turn your attention towards those four rotating arms. They are the obstacle that is keeping our fleet from engaging. I need you to take them out quickly. Guns are overheated. Give a minute. Love that noise. <laughs> zero. The Paranoid boys are defending me though. That, I think that blew up there. <laughs> Are you gonna fire? No? Xenon fighters heading you off. M Zero. Um, 
all the X Games do. You know? This is cool, though, yeah. Music on point. That camera shake I'm not a fan of. Ah, oh, guns are overheated again. I'm going to take out its engine just because. What's that? Colossus ah. E M zero engine. E engine. I get you. It's not going to be for everyone. I know a lot of people, well, not a lot of people. I've got a few comments about people that, like, um, played the first section and they just went back to playing the open universe. Also, that was fun to do without the hood. <laughs> yeah, because we're doing our X2 run as well, and the comparison and getting money in the two games is crazy. Crazy.
split longs for home. Indeed. Sir. Greetings, human. My name is Rosiris Lavara Steridos 9. Harper Donald. I'm Harper Donald. Welcome to the facility. I like that mission. Your fellow human, Kauri Chen, transported me here. She has much enthusiasm. Human Kauri says we play games here. But I cannot access my credits to wager on these games. Hmm. How does one profit from this facility? Profit? I don't know that profit making is part of the deal here. Are the missions games? These so called missions. Human Kari seems to think this is all some kind of interactive entertainment. Huh. Hi, Derados. Got to go. Can we talk later? Very well, human. His metabolism must be through the roof or something. This facility not worthy of split. We are slaves here. Alrighty. Gotta go see. Low times though. Great. Nova Vanguard. So we'll pop into Deepest Choice 1, into Tharkis Cascade, we can go in and check that, and then we can pop back out and check the the new gate in Argon Prime. Should be around here. Excuse me.
activation able to be investigated scientifically is an exceedingly uncommon opportunity. You are welcome to join us. Danger. Hazardous region entering system. Arcus Cascade. Baron 15, right? Yep. So this, I think, should be now activated. Unknown object. Hit the gate. The major piece of infrastructure in this universe. It's active. Oh, Jesus. Entering oh, oh, system. Cool. Matrix number one zero one. Unknown object. Also, new station pieces for the Xena? No? It's just using the other pieces the way they used to be. Okay. Wreck. Asteroid Xenon Station. Oh, it's literally just called a Xenon Station. Kind of glad they did that. I wish the other stations were like that. Wreck. Asteroid. Wait, what plan is that? One thing would be that the skybox is different. It was long thought to be thought of as a Xenon stronghold due to the increased Xenon activity in the air. However, it was soon disproved. When excursions by the Argon Expeditionary Force managed to establish that the sector had a large number of wrecked ships, but apart from those guarding it, little Xenon activity. Danger. Hazardous reach entering system. Arcus uh -oh. Cascade. Nope. Oh. Oh, wait, don't care about that. Stop. Hey, I think I know where we are. I'm pretty sure those star patterns match the ones from the pre-shutdown gate maps. This is the way to the old Federation. Oh, it's Super Earth. Is all this information on the other systems? That is cool. I, I never read that. Right, Argon Prime. We have unlocked another Danger. Hazardous region gate. Detected. Look at that H. Right there for the picking at the start of the game. System, a tick bus choice. That smart chip factory being in front of the defense station is very unfortunate for them.
system, Argon Prime. Hey, plumber. Uh, this ship? Oh, this is just the Nova. This is a, a standard fighter. I never followed that ship before. You don't play normal X4? I. Yeah, X4 is worth playing. Vanilla plus ish is how I play it. Ah. Entering system. Arctic Vars Faith. Oh, just actual Hitikpa's faith? Cool. The flying plank. This is the timeline strike, yes. Uh, we're just checking out... We unlocked two new um, sectors, so we're just checking them out. By completing the last mission in timelines, we have now unlocked... I think it was Faith and um, Matrix 101. Unknown object. Here's to see where this goes. I'm presuming the other one goes to the reach. And then we've unlocked the ability to find some other ships. Entering system. Nobilius Memorial. Uh, Unknown ship. That's an interesting station. Unknown station. Another gate over there. Is that a H? Unknown ship. What what's this? Oh my god. Freeport. K. Freeport. That's really interesting. That's very random. Also, who do we talk to on there? There has to be a storage at that station. Also, there's a person on board. I presume it's like a faction rep. Are they going to engage that station now? Could we set that off in motion? They just want to try and engage me. Report. Yeah, this is unlocked just by playing timelines. Yeah, they're going to engage the station. The station has defenses, I think. Docking granted.
That's right, there's observation decks now. I can have a good one, dude. Get him, boys. What do you want? Whatever. Nova, Vanguard. Okay, so there's two people here that would give us missions? H. By the way, easy way to get some of that, um... Research stuff. Darth, have a good one, dude. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, if anyone is around tomorrow, we're going to be doing a different stream. Uh, playing a bunch of games that um, our friend Yogg would have played a lot of. I'll be doing some Battle Brothers, War Thunder, Warno, other things. If anyone's around, and of course we're running the uh, fundraiser for the Samaritans as well. What's this gate? I wonder, do we unlock this one later? <clears throat> yeah, this one's inactive. Cool. This is going to lead to, like, I I'm curious what modders are going to be able to do with timelines. If they're going to be able to put like missions in there that do stuff hey crazy sub is it worth the purchase it depends on what you're looking for from it um so we just opened up two new uh, sectors on the map by completing missions you're going to be running some like similar enough missions through it but there is a backstory to timelines as well So there's a bit of narrative going on in the background um, among characters here. Really? Oh, Cutlass, yeah. Um, open universe. Said it was a small ship, right? Oh, yeah, creative. Um, that's a good question. No, I think you need to have timelines, yeah, for the new ships. And you need to do the missions to unlock the ships. That's right, yeah, the Cutlass. Yeah, so part of the mission reward, well, I'll go and I'll go through all the little missions that we've done here. Hit racing. <laughs> you don't have to win mission to progress. 
to unlock the reward, you just need to get one star. Sorry, I didn't look inside it. Um, right. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Thank you for the follow, crazy sub. It's the biggest small ship, gotcha. We'll start a quick one then. Um, I think Inspector was saying later on, the, um, the final goal of each section will require a certain amount of stars to get, but like we're on the third part, or we just finished the third part and we still haven't required a star amount to finish that section. We were only required to attempt each mission beforehand. Has it been fun so far? Yes. The story in the hub, the place, <laughs> is actually interesting as well. Cutlass. Wait, do you mean this? Oh, that's very Get out. Back off. You're on six now, and you need ten total amount of stars. No other smalls have that? Okay, Cut right. Less. I thought it was like... I thought there was going to be more to it than that. I don't like that movement. Yeah, don't like that movement. Um, we're going back into timelines. We're not going to dwell too much on the, the ships and stuff. 